Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're playing some Graves Jungle. This is gonna be part of me a quick gameplay guide. First thing, this enemy team comp is actually very, very annoying. Um, I think we're like counted in every single lane of theirs and the jungle matchup is not good either. So, not loving this. Theoretically my Jace wins lane, but um, playing in this elo, playing this elo, I'm never gonna expect my uh, you know, Jaces or other high skill cap champions to actually perform. Alright, so here we're going for Red Krogs Raptors, and then we'll probably head into bot side for full clear. Where's Nocturne? I feel like he's on his walls. I feel like he went for full clear and isn't going for the bot gank. Nocturne with the 12 CS gank top. What the hell did he even do? I think that means his Krogs and his Raptors are going to be up, so I'm going to go to them. I'm going to skip my blue, go to Raptors Krogs. I wanted to finish my blue before I moved because my personal belief is that uh, I prefer to reset my quadrant there for the next clear. Okay, Raptors down. Which means he this is such a terrible clear by the enemy nocturne, it's very confusing to me. So what I might be able to do here is invade his level two raptors. useless but I mean I I have no idea where enemy nocturne out there is. Never mind. 24 CS, I think he actually just did micro rugs. Which is a little bit unfortunate for me. I swear he's cute in here from there. Why? Anyway, I mean, I guess he wasted a bunch of his time, so it's not the worst thing in the world. The question is, did Nocturne stay into his Grump Wolves? No, oh, he went down, he did Wolves into Raptors, so he has Krugs up, which he doesn't know are spawning. He does not actually, pardon me. It says Grump. He resets, so in my mind, he's coming back to Grump. But I can beat him to the Grump and take it. That's my theory. And then we'll double back into my camps. Should be chilling. I'm also going to leave a pink ward in the jungle here for my top laner. Oh, 
Well, in theory, he's here then. Actually, I'm just gonna walk back up like this. Like I said, by the way, guys, I is losing. Not super surprising. Always the way with these chase players in Loilo. So what will I do here? I'm gonna quickly try to pick up crab, blue wolves, and then come back for this um herald. Jace is gonna end up going here. We can block this up. It's such a slow game for me. Mostly just like counter jungling. We've really done well in the counter jungling map in. level eight right now. Let me ping more man, I gotta die. They need to stop Nocturne from taking that grump, otherwise they're at lethal risk because Nocturne gets six. Go back up, yeah. Oh, there's the nocturne. Oh. You're not kidding. depressing um i'm gonna go and start from top side actually i'm gonna go krugs raptors wolves and the reason for this is because my blue is gonna be up but the other thing is i actually think by that time yeah maybe i'm wrong i was thinking by that time my eight trucks would be like resetting have killed this guy and resetting but i'm actually now thinking that he's not even gonna kill him because he hasn't based in so long Is this ever allowed?
Hit him, bro. This is unbelievably bad. Back in the day, you'd just be like spam pinging on Lulu's head and spam pinging Flash, but. Not anymore. Not anymore. Should be able to crash. Alright. Lights. If we go into the Nocturne's jungle here, punish him as much as possible. Oh my god, this game is going to be ridiculously long. Jesus. This flat is just gapping my mid. Honestly, this might even like not be a winnable game. I don't know, Aatrox is gapping down pretty hard, but... Like, flat has better carry potential. I also think Aatrox is like not building. Or maybe even can't build. I'm sort of like that good here. No core drink it into like four ranged. Oh, sorry. Well, it's like. Ah, it's too long ranged, I guess. But they're like super long ranged. And then. Light has pool, which makes him basically untargetable. Also, Nocturne has E. Going very hard. We take this Herald, go into our bot side camps. Okay, actually, let's go into this guy's top side camps. Filthy. 
This is a huge gap too, actually. What is this? Why are we letting this happen again? You know? Right, I'm gonna drop the herald to go bot. Go see if we can put this midway. I should hopefully kill Botar. Aatrox had 3k gold last time I saw him. So fucked. We push in that wave. I oh, didn't ping an item, so to find a Too bad. Definitely does like does feel like a very hard game still. Even after all of those things happened. I'm gonna go with this build, I'm gonna build more magic resist too, because this guy is gonna be building, in my opinion, blighting jewel straight away off the Rabadons. I don't think he's fucking around too much. Boys, I'm gonna go all the way over to drag and then I'm gonna take drag, reset, come back. Actually, no, quickly take drag and then maybe full clip to top. Play. Am I shitting that? Why hit? So cringe, man.
Won this fucking Jason tank. Yep, so let's see your buddy. Let's kill this guy, what? This fucking thing. It's a pretty big jungle gap, guys. As long as we can end this game, we'll get it really close to ending before this guy gets Axiomark. It's, you know, we're in a good spot. If he gets Axiomark and we haven't ended yet, it's going to stop coming very hard to end. I think we've passed a lot of my teammates are playing. This guy's just being so many ults off. Not really going to be able to keep up with that. For sure. I thought he's um he should would have run away by then. I knew this is a possibility, I just thought I could outplay it. Apparently not. Um just follow around myself probably. Bad, really, really bad news, guys. I want to stop this guy from sieging this. Let's see if I can run this guy down. Sure. Bad again. This is so fucking bad. I have to like 1v9 to 5 if I'm gonna win. I cringe. That yep, fight went the build I thought he would too. DC's build. With fleet. Slide two wards that whole fight. 
Erupted, maybe? Yes, no. They're trying to eat Vladar again. Nice. Nice, GG. I have 1v9, two fights in a row. Played by Lulu. This little fucking Lulu kitten was the only redeeming quality on this team. Jesus Christ. What? That that's not a real creep, it's a bugged creep. No wonder my attack deck is fucking me over so much there. Not in all chat. Alright guys, well. Appreciate you for watching. I don't know if this was my best commentary or not. This is a pretty obnoxious game to play. I am going to plug my coaching to these guys in the post game screen, show you guys the runes. If you would also like to improve your gameplay more than what you're doing from just watching these videos, you can check out my coaching top link in the description, most likely, or you can just head straight to coachmiga.com. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helped you guys climb a little bit more or maybe not climb, but hopefully it helped you improve a little bit more, which then downstream should have the effect of helping you climb as long as all the other areas are good, like especially your mental and things like that. Gonna honor the Lulu. Like the coaching. Boom, boom, boom. 32k damage. Unsurprising. Yeah, mid ADC damage. Their ADC damage is also gross. Yeah, what the hell is this? This is the reason we took this game, guys. I wouldn't really make any changes. I will note that we got Legend Alacrity really late because we didn't get too many kills or assists early game at all. And that was because we we're mostly playing for counter jungling. Same thing for our magical footwear. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for today. Until next time, take care, good luck on the rift, and peace out.